This is project 15 of Hacking with Swift. In this project, we're going to tackle one of the most important techniques in all of iOS, animation. Sadly, many folks don't consider animation important, which leads to some thoroughly terrible user interfaces. Animation of your views, i.e. making them move, scale and so on, is not only about making things pretty, although that's certainly a large part. Its main purpose is to give users a sense of what's changing and why, and it helps them make sense of a state change in your program. When we use a navigation control to show a new view controller, we don't just want it to appear. Instead, we want it to slide in, making it clear the old screen hasn't gone away, it's just to the left of where we were. Now you're almost certainly tired of hearing me say this, but iOS has a ridiculously powerful animation toolkit that's also easy to use. I know, I'm a broken record, right? Well, don't take my word for it. Let's try some animation together so you can see exactly how it works. We've got lots to get through, so let's go straight to Xcode. In Xcode, choose Create a New Xcode Project, then choose iOS, Single View App, and press Next. Call this thing Project 15, then press Next, and Create Your Desktop. Now obviously, animation works great on all iOS devices, but when you're learning, it's easy to have a simple layout to work with. So I'll change devices from Universal to iPad, and deselect Portrait and Upside Down. There's only landscape iPads you've got to work with. It's much easier while you're learning. You'll also need some files for this project from GitHub. They're at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop in this hacking with a folder. Inside there you'll find project 15 files. Inside there is a file called content. So open that one up and we're going to drag out Penguin at 2x into your asset catalog over here. So I'll drag Penguin at 2x into there, and we're done. 